Cadaverin is the primary component responsible for the odor of decomposing tissue. It is formed when the chemical lysine is broken down. This synthesis will require lysine hydrochloride, sodium bicarbonate, and high concentration ethanol. Cadaverin has an extremely foul odor. Subsequently, this experiment must be conducted in a fume hood. Waste products should also be isolated and properly disposed of. Ethanol is flammable and must be kept away from heat sources. To synthesize cadaverin, a mass of lysine is weighed out on a scale. This experiment used 0.71 grams. Now a mass 50% of that of the lysine used in sodium bicarbonate is weighed on a scale. The mixture is then added to a test tube, mounted to a ring stand. It is important to ensure the two compounds are mixed thoroughly in order to ensure the proper reaction takes place. The test tube is then gradually heated with a Bunsen burner. The mixture will release gas and gradually turn a brown color. It is important to take a couple minutes to do so as to prevent further decomposition of involved products and reactants. What is happening is called a thermal decarboxylation, which is a type of reaction where something is heated and gives off carbon dioxide. In this case, the carboxyl group on lysine is being broken away to form cadaverine. Cadaverine has one more hydrogen than lysine is able to supply. This is why sodium bicarbonate is used. When broken down, sodium bicarbonate also releases carbon dioxide, but also hydrogen. The hydrogen is greatly favor favored to form cadaverine and improves the efficiency of the reaction. A couple of mils of high concentration ethanol is then added to the test tube because cadaverine is highly soluble in it whereas other potential remaining products in the test tube are not. The mixture is then stirred with really long stir rod in order to ensure all of the cadaverine is dissolved. The solution is then passed through a highly precarious simple filtration apparatus to further remove any unwanted products. The resulting solution was surprisingly clear, containing no visible particulate matter. The solution collected in a vial is then heated to evaporate all of the ethanol in order to remove low boiling point side products and calculate percent yield. The yield of 63% was calculated, which was quite good for this relatively unsophisticated method of synthesizing cadaverine. Unfortunately, the odor was not anywhere near as powerful as expected. This reaction was conducted with very small amounts of lysine, meaning only really small amounts of cadaverine could have been formed. Organic chemistry is kind of mean, and likely a lot of what was produced was not actually cadaverine. Multiple students reported an odor more closely related to that of spermidine, a potential product that gives semen its particular odor.